Ever wondered who the real giants in the world of football are? Not the players, not the managers, but the owners. Get set, Sports Rovers fans. Dive into the world of the richest football club owners now. 10. Stan Kroenke, Arsenal and Colorado Rapids, 7.1 billion pounds. Ever met a kingpin of the sports world? Stan Kroenke isn't just an owner, he's a juggernaut. Dominating European football with Arsenal and setting the pace in Major League Soccer with Colorado Rapids, this American magnate's reach is breathtaking. But it's not just football. The Los Angeles Rams, Denver Nuggets, and the Colorado Avalanche all have Stan's mark. With land holdings vast enough to fit entire cities and a marital connection to Walmart's heiress, Stan truly knows how to play the game both on and off the field. A billionaire mastermind, Krenka's empire speaks volumes of his ambition. But who stands even taller? Keep watching. 9. Philip Anschutz, Louisiana Galaxy, 8 pounds, 6 billion. Philip Anschutz's journey is an embodiment of the American dream. Imagine a six-year-old selling Kool-Aid and fast forward to him becoming the powerhouse behind LA Galaxy. An empire carved in oil, railroads, telecom, real estate, and spectacular arenas worldwide. Philip doesn't just own, he creates legacies. Besides football, he's a majority stakeholder in the NHL's Los Angeles Kings, a self-made billionaire whose childhood entrepreneurial spirit heralded a future mogul. Philip's vision transcends beyond the mere game. It's about building a world of entertainment, enjoying the ride, don't pause the fun. Smash that subscribe button to keep up with all things football with sports rovers. Stay in the game with us. 8. Shahid Khan, Fulham, pound 9, 5 billion. Flamboyant, charismatic, and sporting a mustache that's as iconic as his business ventures, Shahid Khan is a sensation in the world of football and beyond. The Fulham Football Club owner didn't stop there. He expanded his horizon to the NFL with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and even ventured into wrestling. Khan's wealth isn't just about digits, it's a testament to his diverse interests and impeccable business acumen. The unique blend of English football, American football, and professional wrestling showcases a man who knows no boundaries when it comes to conquering arenas. Who's got a bigger pocket? Keep going. 7. Dietmar Hopp, Hoffenheim, pound 10 billion. Dietmar Hopp's tale is one of innovation and dedication. The genius behind the software giant SA app, he seamlessly transitioned his business prowess into football, showering Hoffenheim with investments that redefine patronage. Recently, in a strategic move, he returned majority voting rights while retaining majority shares. What's next for Hop? No one knows. But with the club's current performance, speculations are brewing. Dietmar, however, isn't just about business. He's about passion. But guess what? The next guy made a debut splash. 6. David Tepper, Charlotte FC, 14 pounds, 6 billion. David Tepper is the dark horse in the football world. A recent entrant via Charlotte FC, his introduction was nothing short of a blockbuster. Despite his newbie status in football, he's no stranger to sports, owning the NFL's Carolina Panthers. While he might be a fresh face for football enthusiasts globally, his fortune and business ventures are well known in financial circles. David doesn't just step into ventures, he transforms them and the world waits with bated breath to see how he elevates Charlotte FC. Ready for some royal vibes? Read on. 5. Sheikh Mansour, Manchester City, pound 17 billion. The name that changed English football's landscape. Sheikh Mansour's entry into Manchester City wasn't just about ownership. It was about revolutionizing a club and, by extension, a league. With investments spreading from New York to Melbourne, his influence is truly global. While many credit him for the meteoric rise of Manchester City, critics argue about the fairness of such vast investments. Regardless, Sheikh Mansour's impact on the game is undeniable and unforgettable. Want to meet the Red Devils bitter? Dive in. 4. Jim Ratcliffe, OGC Nice, pound 18 billion. Jim Ratcliffe's rise is akin to a thriller movie. From mortgaging his home for a business buyout to creating Ineos, a chemical powerhouse, his journey has been meteoric. Now, casting his gaze upon football, Ratcliffe's ownership of OGC Nice and Swiss club Lausanne Sport shows a man hungry for new horizons. With rumors linking him to Premier League ventures, the world eagerly watches his next move. Next, we have the youngest owner in the league. 3. Mark Mateschitz, RB Leipzig and Amp, New York Red Bulls, 27 pounds, 4 billion. At 31, Mark Mateschitz is the youthful face of football ownership. 
Inheriting stakes in iconic clubs and part-owning the Red Bull Formula One team, he's living life in the fast lane. The success of Red Bull, selling billions of cans globally, is a testament to Mark's business acumen. A young magnate with the world at his feet, fashionably rich, you'll want to meet the next one. 2. Francois-Henri Pinot Stade René, 31 pounds, 6 billion. The world of luxury meets football in the form of Francois-Henri Pinot. This magnate, while ruling the luxury goods market with brands like Gucci, also has a soft spot for football, evident in his ownership of Stade René. His story is about transformation, from founding a wood company to steering it into luxury. Pinot's magic touch seems to turn everything into gold. Lastly, the titan of all titans, the real game changer. 1. Public Investment Fund, Newcastle United, pound 343 billion. The Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. Their acquisition of Newcastle United sent shockwaves throughout the football community. With assets in staggering amounts and stakes in global companies, we've toured the world, seen mustaches, luxury brands, and literal royalty. Football isn't just a game, it's a realm of emperors. Who do you think will top the list next year? Drop your predictions below.